Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just state your name and what you play in each of the bands. My name is Vincent. I'm the singer of the Acacia Strain and Cock Punch. What are some essential things that you have to bring when you go on tour? Underwear, uh, brand new socks, because they feel the best, a toothbrush, deodorant, uh, a van that works. Um, what's your favorite thing about being in a band? Not having a job. <laughs> the least favorite thing about being in a band is not having any money. <laughs> but it's a trade-off. How is it being signed to Prosthetic Records? Um, it's pretty good. It's a label. They uh, pay for our recordings. They put ads in magazines so people know that, this that our CDs are coming out. Um, Quit it, your van's dead. Um, what else is good about them? There's not a lot of bands on the label, so we get a lot of attention from the label. It's pretty good. It's like a family, yes. A record label family. Something that your fans might not know about you. I have huge tits. I hide them really well. Sports bra and lots of cut tape. <laughs> Do you have any major musical influences when it comes to your band? Yeah, I mean, I guess in order to be in a band and play music, you have to have some sort of influence as far as uh, who you want to, you know, what you listen to definitely influences what you do. I mean, it doesn't necessarily make you sound exactly like the bands you're influenced by, but, you know, I'm influenced by a lot of bands. Blood Has Been Shed is an obvious one, Meshuggah is another obvious one. Um, there's a lot of other bands, like a couple of my favorite bands we don't even sound like, like Integrity and Earth and Black Sabbath, stuff like that. So, I mean, it runs the gamut, I guess. I don't really listen to country music that much. Maybe some Johnny Cash and stuff, but, you know, I'm influenced by a lot of, a lot of things. When, um, when you guys are writing music, do you have one person who normally writes the music, or is it a group process? Uh, Usually what we do is DL, our guitar player, comes up with the main ideas and we just elaborate on them. You know, um, maybe sometimes I'll come up with a riff in my brain and I'll just like, I'll whistle it out to him. Or, you know, sometimes our drummer will be like, well, I have a beat and I want to play a riff over it. So, but normally it's just DL. DL doesn't get a lot of sleep because all he does is write riffs. When, um, you guys just released your album, Continent. How have things been going since the release? Uh, it's been going pretty good. It came out in August, which is almost a, almost a year. And uh, the response is really positive, you know. We've only got, you know, everyone, you know, there's always those kids who are like, well, I like your last album better, or I like old shit better. But it's like, okay, we're, we're going to re-record the same album. It's not going to happen. It's stupid. It can't be, it's got to be evolution, you know, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put out a record Hell is the Acacia Strain, but just builds on what we've done in the past. You know? Do you have a favorite song off the record? Uh, probably Doctor Doom, because it's fast and it hits really hard. And when we play it, kids fucking lose their shit. Plus, there's there's, uh, there's room in the song for circle pits, and I, I love I love not nearly enough circle pits in America. <laughs> Bring it back. What can we expect to see from, from the Acacia Strain over the next couple of months? A bunch of shit. See my tits, I guess. Um, no, we're doing really? we're doing summer summer slob tour in July, which is with us, Evergreen Terrace, Cool Hand, and Unholy. We're going to Japan in August. And we have some other stuff planned, but I can't really tell you about it. It's it hasn't been officialized yet. But you know, we'll be around. Hopefully. I see you have a lot of tattoos. Do you have any favorite ones? I don't have any tattoos. No tattoos no. at all. One of my favorite tattoos is this one right here. It's really little, but it's one of my favorites because my girlfriend did it. Oh, nice. Yep. What's up, man? Just wanted to see you. Oh, thank you very much. I don't want to be in the video. There goes that guy. Yep. You're in an interview. Oh, really? Yep. Hi. Hi I'm right. in an interview. And I'm wearing your talk punch t-shirt. Party's over. Shit, someone's celebrating early.
<laughs> you guys recently played the Bamboozle Festival in New Jersey. Do you prefer bigger tours or smaller venues? Um, I like them both. I mean, it's good to have a good mixture. You know, Bamboozle was awesome because we got we got a lot. We got out to a lot of people that would have normally seen us. You know, a lot of maybe changed some minds about musical taste. Because you know, Bamboozle is mostly like. Every band ever. Well, yeah, it's like pop punk mostly and like poppy music. And maybe one kid wandered over to our set while we were playing and just went, What have I been listening to? Like, I gotta change my, gotta change my mind. But at the same time, small venues are awesome because there's a lot of, a lot of crowd interaction. There's a lot of personal, personal stuff going on. It's more, you know, in your face. I hate playing with barricades. It's, it's probably the worst thing ever. What's a life in the lake of Vincent Bennett like? I wake up at noon, watch TV. I'll go to Cumberland Farms, which is a convenience store near my house. Get a, get a Slurpee, hang out. You know, I'll go. I work at an office with my manager Scott Lee and Leah Urbano. I'll go there, hang out. Ooh, almost fell. <laughs> Do some work. I don't know. I'm not really an exciting person. It's kind of. I kind of go where, the, go where the wind takes me, I guess. If you could tour with any three bands, who would they be and why? Oh, God. I would tour with Metallica in 1985. Tour with Anthrax in 1985. And... What? I didn't hear you. I'm, giving, I'm being fed answers. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Meshuggah, oh, present yeah. day. <laughs> okay. We would go over like a bag of dicks. Oh, shit, we get booed off the stage every night. It'd be awesome. Do you have any advice for upcoming bands that listen to your music? Um, yeah. Instead of like, there's a di there's a huge difference between, and this isn't just for bands that listen to us. This is for all bands. There's a huge difference between using a band as an influence and just ripping a band off. And when it comes to using a band as an influence, you take what that band does and you kind of do your own thing, I guess. Well, actually, that's just ripping it off, too. Using a band as an influence is like, you listen to that band and you want to be in a band, so you start a band. Ripping a band off is just going, I want to sound like this band, listen to their CDs. Oh, for real. And then just going, we're going to do that same exact thing so I mean it's, it's okay to have influences but music these days is so it's just saturated with the same bullshit over and over again I'm not saying we're the most like we're the most original band ever but we try and uh, try and do our own thing I guess so well, is there anything else you'd like to add or? stop using the word death for I don't um, I did remember stop using the word Stop using the word deathcore. That's and, uh, it. The only other question I have for you today is, you recently were featured on a Data Remembers new record. Yeah, I was on Homestead. it for a whole three seconds. Like, yeah. awesome. <laughs> How was that for you, for an experience? Uh, it was all right. I mean, I recorded it in Massachusetts. Like, they sent me the track and I I recorded it because I'm, I'm friends with those guys, you know? A lot of people are like, you fucking sitting on that gay record? It's like, Shut up! They're my friends. They put out a good album, and I I'm glad I could have been a part of it. Maybe you'll be seeing uh, seeing me on stage with them do that part around in the area. Maybe. Hopefully. Awesome. Well, thank you, Vincent. Thanks, dude. And that's Shred News. Check this shit out. Look at that shirt. Holy shit. Also, Diamond Cut, Straight Edge right here. There you go. Awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> thank you so much, Vincent. Thanks.